We have reached our destination. Everybody out. Harry McDonagall is a small-time character with big-time ambition, an ego in search of a career. Dobbs has done it again. Look at this place. Now Harry's about to have his turn with a dead man's gun. Harry, it's not so bad. He's doing the best he can. It's not good enough. I'm sick of playing these one-horse towns. Uh, Harry? Oh. Complaining again, Harry? Why? Whatever would I have to complain about? Yeah, I know, I know it doesn't look like much, but some of these small towns are renowned for the local cuisine. Yeah, well, I doubt if this place is renowned for anything but the mud and the smell. You know, I would have hoped by now the grease paint would be in your blood, Harry. Performing, bringing joy to the simple folks. Doesn't that make up the inconvenience? Um, no, actually it doesn't. But you know what might soften things? That advance we talked about. Advance? We're two days late for this engagement because of you. Next time you want to indulge your appetite, Harry, try not to choose a sheriff's wife. Is it my fault women find me attractive? Now about that advance. You know what kind of financial straits we're in. I've already given you a considerable sum. I'm the attraction. It's me they pay to see. Oh, this, this is robbery, Harry. <laughs> Call it whatever you like. Someday your arrogance won't be enough to get you through. When that day comes, let me know. In the American West, a gun touched by evil passed from hand to hand, changing the lives of all who possessed it. Its origin unknown, its dark legend grew, until it came to be known as Dead man's gun. All right, Mr. Dobbs, let's get on with it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And now, for your listening enjoyment, I will recite from the immortal bards, Romeo and Juliet, Act Two, Scene Two. <gasps> but soft, what light through yonder window breaks, tis the east, and Juliet, tis the sun. Arise, fair son, and kill the envious moon. What the hell are you saying, mister? <laughs> I paid good money to listen to him, not you. All right, all right. That thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. Be not her maid, since she is envious. Her vestal livery is but sick and green, and none but... Brittany, why won't you have dinner with me? There is so much you and I can Harry, do. you're a fourth-rate act in a third-rate show. There's not much you could do for me. Anyway, aren't you supposed to be married? Forbidden fruit always tastes the sweetest. I will answer it Well, what can I do for you? I need to sell it. How much will you give me? A dollar. Mister, look at it again. This here's worth a lot. Now, you asked me, I didn't ask you. And that's my offer. You want it or not? Make it two. There's no name on this. You know who made it? As far as I know, the devil himself. What do you mean by that? Bad luck. No such thing. Everybody makes their own luck. 
No such thing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm party to this. You say something, Dots? Just musing, Harry. Listen, singing and drama are new to these folks in the wired taste, but trick shooting is something that they understand. Now go there and give it your best, my boy. Why, do they know the difference? And her beauty was so far an old man's gold, she's a bird. Ladies and gentlemen, for your enjoyment, assisted by the lovely Ariadne, <laughs> I give you the superlative shooter, the Byron of the bullet, the man who never misses, Harry Trickshot McDonagall. demonstration of unparalleled marksmanship. I will attempt to hit six moving targets. Yokels knew that Harry's guns were fixed to spray buckshot instead of bullets. They'd run him out of town. I'm half tempted to tell them. Shh, someone will hear you. Anyone could hit those targets. He's not a trick shot artist, he's a fraud. After all, it is a performance. What's wrong with that? It's dishonest. My dear, in life, it doesn't pay to examine anything too closely. You'll find that even the most perfect rose has a blemish. by the lovely Ariadne, I will defy death and attempt to catch a bullet with my teeth. Please, please, I must ask for absolute silence. I have now invoked the mystic powers of the Far East. Ariadne, if you will. Shoot straight, my love. But first, in case this feat goes awry, one final kiss. Are you ready? Ready.
time that's happened, I've had it. I'm not doing that trick anymore. But Harry, what about the finale? They love it's it. It's out. Well, Harry, I could do it. You? Would you say that? That's a good idea. They wouldn't shoot at a woman. I would just need a, a little longer kiss so I don't drop the bullet in the exchange. Oh, no, that might work. No, oh, my dear, you're hurt. Oh, I must have been nicked by one of the pellets. Dobbs, if you gave us decent props to work with, this would never have happened. <laughs> Brittany, bring me the medical bag. I'm all right. It's just a scratch. All right, we have to reduce the buckshot. This is way too dangerous. No, if we do that, you might miss the targets. <sighs> She's right, Harry. Harry will be more careful, won't you, dear? Of course I will. Don't sit down. Harry, you're shaking. Well, when I think of what could have happened to you, Harry, I... Harry, I'll take care of this. <sighs> Harry, we ought to talk about restaging the finale now. Go oh. on, Harry, I'm fine. All right. You're very kind. Sorry. Uh, can I ask you something? Yes. Why do you take these kinds of risks for him? Well, because he needs me. From what I can see, the only person Harry really cares about is himself. Oh, no. No, you couldn't be more wrong. See, most people just don't understand him. Harry's not what you think. You're attracted to him, aren't you? No. It's all right. Most women are. I'm used to it. You don't mind? The world is full of pretty young women. But he loves me. He always comes back to me. If you hadn't come in when you did, I, I might have been killed. Look at this place. What a mess. Don't worry, dear. We'll get through this. Just a little bad luck, that's all. It must have been a special order someplace. One of a kind. Notice the Engraving the, the beautiful craftsmanship. Save the sales pitch. How much? Ten dollars? Why so cheap? Well, uh, let's just say that uh, I'm overstocked. But I guarantee you'll never find another one like it. He's either drunk or crazy. Some damn fool sold it to me for ten dollars. Oh, but Harry, what you're saying can't be true. It is, I swear. And with this in my hand, I I, I can't miss. That's crazy. Crazy, huh? Come on, here, I'll show you something. Okay. Watch this. <laughs> See, I told you. I don't understand. <laughs> Neither do I, but I'm not gonna question it. I've always said I was destined for bigger things, and this is it. Oh, who? Oh, who? Who is it? It's Harry. Oh, Harry. What do you want? Open up, Dobbs. Oh. It's the middle of the night. Come on, Dobbs. Open the door. Oh, very well. Oh. What is it? What's so important you have to wake me up? Do you believe in the Holy Grail, Dobbs? You've been drinking again, Harry? <sighs> no. And what do you want? 
I'm changing the act. What? You heard me. You can't do that. Oh, no. Harry, no. <laughs> Relax, Dobbs. This is the new act. A gun? But you already got several. No. I have props. But from now on, you will be introducing the most astounding act ever to appear on any stage. Oh, Harry, I know you're ambitious, but you're letting it cloud your judgment. If you got no concern for your wife, I do. Leave her out of it. You intend to use a real gun? This gun. <laughs> Harry, you're a performer. You charm the audience. You create an illusion. You're not a marksman. You never were. Until now. I think what you're saying, a real gun is too dangerous. I know what I'm doing. With this, I can't miss. Hello, Brittany. No, Harry. No what? I haven't even said anything. Harry, you're either promoting yourself or trying to take liberties. I thought I'd save you the time. Your attentions have become tiresome. You're going to change your mind. About what? About me. Am I? Yes, you're going to come to me, Brittany. The question is, will I want you? <laughs> well, maybe it isn't too late for you, Harry. Try comedy. You'd be funny if you weren't so pitiful. Watch my act tonight. I've seen your act on stage and off. It might surprise you. Well, that would be novel. You don't know it, but you're about to witness a legend being made. You look the same to me. Then watch my act. <laughs> this gun is going to change my life. Harry, I told you I forbid this. This is not the act. What were your props? I don't need any. What are you doing? Harry? Harry? <laughs> You know about this? No. Oh, he's gonna get a kill out there. Ladies and gentlemen, the wheel of death. That was a wonderful meal, Harry. No, I don't remember the last time we dined like this together. Waiter, another bottle of champagne. Make sure it's properly chilled. Harry, you shouldn't. It's so expensive. This is just the beginning. You'll see. Harry, listen to me. I want us to be successful, but go slowly. Go sl We've been doing that for years. That's exactly what I am not going to do. There is something just not right about all this, Harry. Not right? Everything about it is right. For the first time in my life, luck is going my way. No, this isn't luck, Harry. It's almost like... Magic? What is it about that gun that allows you to shoot like that? Who cares? What's the difference? Can't you just enjoy our good fortune? What happens if the magic goes away? It won't. But what if it does? Stop worrying. Let me handle the act. I'll take care of everything. All right, Harry, you know best. Waiter. <laughs> you see, Brittany, the house is packed again. I'm turning people away. Do I know talent? L listen, I brought the boy along. I, mean, I, I always knew it. Harry had it in him. I, I just knew it. You know what this means? New sets, new costumes. Yeah, we'll only play the big houses. The Dob show will mean something again. I'm really happy for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's funny how things change. Who would have thought my savior would be Harry McDonagall? Life is the oddest play of all. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Harry, you, you can't leave the truth. I already have. 
Where, where am I going to find a replacement now? With a, a finale to play to the crowd? I'm going to have to close my show. That's not my problem. Uh, I've tried to be fair, Harry. Uh, I took you in when you, you're running from your gambling debts. I, I taught you how to perform. Hell, I even gave you the act. You taught me tricks. With this gun, I don't need tricks. With this, the act is real. Harry, please. I'm an old man. This troop is a breath of life to me. It's all I know. We performers, we got to stick together. The show must go on. Oh, it will. Only without you. I treat you like a son, Harry. Well, even a son leaves home eventually. Hello, Brittany. Congratulations on your new success. It must be a good feeling. As a matter of fact, it is. I've been thinking. About what? Your dinner invitation. Oh? I thought I was a fourth-rate act. Did I say that? Uh-huh. In a third-rate show. Things change, Harry. People really like you. They come from all around to see the great McDonagle. How about you? Do you like me? Maybe. <laughs> What's funny? You are. Why is that? Because you're a scheming opportunist. Come on, come on. How dare you? No, 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 don't be angry. I like a woman who knows what she wants. Dinner. I'll think about it. Hey, kid, what are you following me for? What do you want? I, I don't want nothing, uh, Mr. McDonald. I just wanted to tell you that you're the greatest shot i ever seen. OK, you told me. I go about your business. I can't have some little tramp tagging after me. Go on, get. Listen, uh, about that gun I sold you, I... It's the best money I ever spent. What? I need three more boxes of cartridges. That's all you came in for? Yeah, why else? So everything's all right? Fine, never better. Anything uh, unusual happen lately? Unusual? What's the matter with you? Why do you ask? No, no, just wondering. Uh, here's your change. You take care of yourself. We've carried him as far as we can. Look what he's done for us. What about gratitude? No one ever got top billing by being grateful. Oh, I don't like this side of you, Harry. We have repaid Dobbs in full. I've waited my whole life for a chance like this. I know what I have to do. Isn't there another way? If there was, don't you think I would have taken it? If we stay with Dobbs, we will go nowhere. Is that what you want? No. Harry, I'm your wife. My place is with you. But I have to say, I'm... I am just so ashamed of what you've done. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But I know you'll get over it. Seems not all of your talents are on stage. I said you'd come to me, Brittany. I was right. I don't want you to get the wrong idea about me. <laughs> what idea is that? 
I don't want you to think I'm easy. We both know who we are. What are you thinking? Things are finally going my way. What about your wife? What about her? She stuck with me when I was nobody. She has faith in me. She's kind, loyal. If that's all you want, Harry, why not get a dog? Oh, you are so bad. But that's what I like about you. Is that all? Well, maybe not all. You haven't answered me. Have you ever thought about leaving her? I might have. Well, then, why don't I just help you make up your mind? I, w I want something that would make me see... I understand. What we're after is a new look. <sighs> this way, please. These are our finest furnishings for women. Oh, would you think a new hat? Would... That would be lovely. Here. Let's try this on. Oh, why, it frames your face beautifully. Do you think it makes me look younger? Oh, most definitely. I'll take it. May I suggest something else? Yes. All the way from Paris, France. They call it Passion de Minuit. It means midnight passion. Oh. Isn't it divine? I'll take this too. Your husband is a very fortunate man. very good at and when you lose you're supposed to pay and we took your marker in good faith and you ran out I was gonna square it with you Angel I swear I just had to go out and get it now you're insulting my intelligence we just about gave up on you and here you go and advertise yourself you're your own worst enemy Harry oh, geez, Harry's doing real good it's yours it's not enough Harry not nearly enough I guess we'll have to take it out of your hide. No, wait, 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 wait. I can get her for you. Just give me a little more time. I don't think so. Just one more day. Well, what happens then? I'm going to do the impossible. I'm going to make a shot that nobody has ever tried before. The, the whole town is betting on it. I've seen your old act, Harry. It stinks. It, it's different now. What's different? I can hit everything I aim at. I believe you're serious. Oh, yeah, believe me. I'll pay you back. As a matter of fact, you might want to wager double what I owe you. The, the odds are with you. What if you lose, Harry? You haven't got any collateral. All you got is your life. You willing to bet your life, Harry? Yeah, I'm willing. All right, Harry, you're covered. You win, we'll walk away and we're even. You lose, you lose everything. And I mean everything. We understand each other? Yeah, we do. Okay, Harry. No sense running away again.
one bullet. You'll never find it. Are you crazy? Why? You lied to me. What are you talking about? Give her up, Harry. Is that what this is about? Well, you, you're imagining things. Give her up, Harry, or I swear you'll never see that gun again. Do you know who's here? People I owe money to, dangerous people. You're going to see me killed? I don't care. I'd rather see you dead than with her. Come on, come on. Give me the gun. <laughs> Give it to me right now. Take your hands off me. You understand something? I bet all our savings on this. <laughs> what is this? Another broken promise, Harry. You said you'd never gamble again. With that gun, I can't lose. Just tell me where it is. No. I won't. Oh, there's nothing you can do. Please. Please. No. Please, I'll do anything. Just give me back that gun. You're through with her? I swear. She's, she's nothing to me. You know, it's, it's just, you know how I am. It's always been you. Oh, don't make me do this. Oh. such a little boy. I never could deny you anything. Uh -huh. against you. Odds don't matter to me anymore. Cover all bets. All right, put down, put down. Gentlemen, put your money where your mouth is. Yeah, right. Let's go. We're about to start. square. I'm almost disappointed. I wanted your head. I'll be seeing you again, Harry. Hell you will. I'm through with small timers like you. Now move out. Drinks are on me!
shooting here. Oh, I got to buy him a drink. Good shooting here, really. Have a drink. What shirt? Mr. McDonagall. Word with you, sir. What about? I traveled a great distance to see you, sir. Why? I've heard of your skill. And judging by what I've just seen, everything I heard is true. You came a long way to tell me that? Not exactly. I think we could do some business. Nice shot. Thank you. All right, old Pete. How are you? <laughs> Harry, where have you been? Oh, Harry. You look wonderful. Where did you get those new clothes? I thought I needed a change. What's this? Well, that's a contract for a tour of the major cities and then Europe. Well, when did you get the news? This afternoon. Oh, my. This tour leaves next week. I'd better start packing. Oh, that won't be necessary. Well, why not? I'll go on ahead and send for you later. But we always travel together. Not this time. Why? The agent wants it that way. I'll just... I need to go and get everything set up. Harry, you're lying to me. I can always tell. I want the truth, and I want it now. I owe you that much. I can't take you where I have to go. What do you mean? I'm trying to understand. The act needs an entire new presentation. You, you were just fine for the small towns, but not for New York or the continent. Harry, I can't believe I'm hearing this. You'll just hold me back. I need a new assistant. Someone who's more elegant in her costumes, who carries herself more gracefully. Someone... Like Brittany? Yes. Harry, you swore to me. I'm sorry. We had a good run, but now it's over. Maybe you didn't intend it this way, Harry. But you're actually doing me a favor. I'm much better off without you. See, I never wanted to face it. But you're a man without character. I know. But in this business, that's an asset. I never dreamed you could be this cruel. I am the great McDonagall. You should never have made me beg. You're looking lovely, my dear. Have you made the arrangements? Everything's been taken care of, first class to New York. You mark my words, Harry. In a year's time, you'll be world famous. I'll hold you to that. I'm just gonna stop in here and get some cigars. Okay. Maybe you'd like to try the penny candy. That just came in. Yeah. Give me three of your best cigars. I'll be right with you. I'm just serving this young thing. You again? What did they say about following me around? Oh, I wasn't following you. I was here first. <laughs> Mister, I'd like some of that penny candy. Hey! Uh, Miss McDonald, I... Do I get I those don't... cigars or not? It's the trouble with young people today. No respect. Well, they ain't right, pushing people out of Keep the way. Keep your mouth shut before you get into trouble. Remember who you're talking to. Well, I'm talking to about the rudest man I ever run into. And I figure you owe me an apology. I'd sooner bury you, Sonny. Now make yourself scarce. Then I'll be waiting for you outside. Ooh. <laughs> no, Mr. McGonagall, I don't think you... Nobody's want... asking you. Mr. McGonagall, I... You still here? You better walk away while you can. He's this stupid, he's not going to grow up to be a man now, is he?
None too bright, are you, boy? Remember, I'm the great McDonagle, the deadliest shot alive. You'll be needing this no more. I tried to tell him, but he just wouldn't listen. The young fool just drew on Billy the Kid. Harry got his wish. The gun changed his life, but not as he expected. And so, the dead man's gun moves on.